Therefore, Lord, I lift up my voice unto you that call upon you that flesh disappear at this moment. Anything flesh gone at this moment that the grace and the windows of heaven may open for the throne of grace to speak to everyone that is here. To speak to nations, to speak to people, and to speak to kingdom and let them know that you alone is the God in heaven and nothing happened under the earth that you are not aware of. Therefore, touch my mouth that you may use this mouth to communicate to your people in the language they will understand. I disappear that you may appear. Lord, I decrease that you may increase at this hour and speak to your people. For by power shall no man prevail. It is well with all of you in the name of Jesus. I say it is well with all of you in the name of Jesus. It is well with all of you in the name of Jesus. This is the time that God wants to speak to you. And the Lord say it is well with your soul in the name of Jesus. Takashi kapara zoredi mbahazo. O makateli broski brahadesho adapaka soraza. Rata kasa makato shila barante. Mangre doshi kapari alozo. Letra de la gen de copra. The Lord say, I should let you know that it is well with you. Can I hear you say better? Amen. Amen. The Lord said, Tell the people of God it is well with them. Amen. For the windows of heaven shall open unto you, Amen. and the blessings of God shall come upon you, Amen. and the blessings shall overtake you. This 2021 is a year that is pregnant of a lot of things. It's pregnant of good things and also pregnant of evil things. But those that trust in the Lord, the Bible say, they shall renew their strength. I pray for you, you shall be among the people that will renew your strength. You will renew your strength. You will not find anything difficult in your life. For you are not going to operate by flesh, but operate by the Spirit. The Lord began to speak to me in the language of heaven. And he said, tell my people that this year, 2021, is a year to be spiritual. It's a year that you have to be what? Spiritual in everything that you do. In your dealings, you have to be spiritual. You have to do whatever you are doing in the year 2021 that we are in. You have to do it spiritually and be focused. Be spiritually aware and be spiritually concerned. Do anything you want to do spiritually. Don't walk by flesh. Don't walk by sight. Don't walk by canon. Walk by the spirit of God in the name of Jesus. We will raise our hand and we will come against anything called war in the country. Anything called war that we want to arise we pray against it that God will stop it and God will not allow it to happen in the name of Jesus. I say in the name of Jesus. Because it is coming to a point where the people are now going to say no, we cannot take it anymore. Because the government and the things happening in Nigeria this year is not going to be as usual. In the realm of the spirit, the Lord says it's not going to be as usual. Because things are going to automatically change. Things are going to automatically move the way beyond people comprehension. Because the year is pregnant with a lot of things. And those that trust in the Lord, good things will not pass them by. Good things will come to them in Jesus name. And the Lord spoke to me and said, tell the government of the day and the people in the seat of power to be careful with the church. He said, tell them to be careful with the church because you can never kick against the brick. He said, he that jammed the rock shall be broken into pieces. And whoever the rock shall jam, he said, the person shall be grounded into powder. And the Lord said, tell them if they don't want calamity, if they don't want dissolution, if they don't want dismantling, they should quickly give chance and never to joke with the church of God. The Lord said, I said, Lord said, I'm taking you now to River State. 
I asked the Lord, what are you taking me there? He said, there's a warning I want you to go and give to the governor of River State. Yes, some wicked. The Lord said, I told, the Lord said, he said that he has allowed the church to worship. That this time around is going to bring a lockdown. Lockdown is not a crime. But to open mouth and say to the church that you have allowed them. The Lord said, I should tell you to be warned. Never ever in your life to say such word. Because when you say such word, you are provoking the heavenly anger. And that alone can throw you in the dustbin of political dustbin. And the Lord said, tell him to repent and go and ask for forgiveness. And God said, the church of God shall march forward and no gate of hell anywhere shall prevail against the church. He said, no gate of hell in the world shall prevail against the church. And then I enter into the realm of the spirit and I said, Lord, what does it mean that what is going to happen? He said, my people should not bother themselves. That my people are saying, oh, rapture is coming. They are going to put uh, 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 chiefs. They want to put uh, vaccination. They want to do this. God say, no power yet is authorized to put 666 in anybody's body right now. They may conceive it as what they want to do, but God say it is not yet time. And therefore, anything can happen, but it is not 666. Let the authorities and people involved be warned. The church of God is not something to joke with. They should be very careful because this is what Nebuchadnezzar tried to do in the Bible. And God humbled him and took him to the forest. To go and eat with the animals of the bush. And this is what the Herod want to say. And it become a blasphemy. Nobody can say I allowed the church. Who are you? To say you allowed the church. God said I should warn you never to try it in your life. That the church of God will march forward. And no gate of hell shall prevail. Let the name of the Lord be praised forever. Let all glory and honor be to Jesus Christ and to him alone. In the name of Jesus Christ. And as I'm speaking, the Lord took me again in the realm of the spirit. I see myself in the seat of government. The Lord said, look at it. I said, I enter into that place. God said, look at what I have shown you. I want you to declare it. And I said, Lord, what is this? And the Lord said, another coup in Nigeria. Coup loading in Nigeria. Daylight coup. Daylight coup that would truncate what is called democracy in Nigeria. Democracy in Nigeria. He said, we should pray. If not, there's a coup planning to go on and it is going to be arranged coup. So it's going to be an arranged coup. This is not a coup of normal, eh, the trouble and the enter and the take power. It's going to be arranged coup for some political purposes and the Lord took me again he said my servant to speak because I've given you the utterance to communicate to the world and I look in the realm of the spirit and uh, I asked the Lord I said what is going to happen 2023 who is going to be the president of Nigeria from the eastern part of Nigeria the Lord say a great trap for all the Igbo Top politicians. 2023 is a spiritual trap for all of them. Be it anybody in the eastern region that want to come out and say, I want to be a politician for this or that. I want to contest for presidency of Nigeria 2023. is a big trap for all the Igbo leaders. The time is not ripe. And uh, as I began to speak, the Lord took me again, and the Lord began to take me bit by bit. I asked the Lord, what is this? I see myself right there in the United States of America. I said, Lord, what am I doing here? Because this is not my country. I'm not supposed to be here. What am I doing in the United States of America? God said, I want you to go and deliver a message right now. Somebody say fire. <laughs> he said, I want you to go and deliver a message right there 
in the United States of America. And I begin to ask the Lord, I say, what kind of a message is the Lord asking me to deliver? And he say, my servant, I am taking you to the United States of America to go and let them know that I am not done with Donald Trump. God says it's not done with Donald Trump. God says it's not done with Donald Trump. God says it's not true with Donald Trump. And I begin to ask a question in the realm of the spirit. What is it not done with him? He said, no, it's not done. It's not over. Something is going on in the realm of the spirit. And then God knows the best. And let the name of the Lord be praised forever in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord said, it is well with you. 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 And uh, I begin to look at African countries. African countries. I see the country of Ghana. I see the country of Ghana. They should pray against earthquake. Anything earthquake, pray against it. Nigeria also pray against earthquake. And also, God said, tell the people that the prayer, when it is raised up, prayer will stop every negative things in the air. Because the enemy have lost the battle in 2020. The enemy have lost the battle. And that battle that the enemy have lost is lost forever. And let the name of the Lord be praised forever. Let the plan of God come to pass. And let what God have, let it be for the people of God in Jesus' name. So all the people involved and people that know all the people involved in the prophecies coming tonight, pass it across to them. There will not be war. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. I say 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 in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will take absolute control. And uh, as many that will humble themselves, the Lord is going to favor them. The Lord is going to favor them. I see something in the realm of the spirit. And this thing, I don't know how to say it out. I see Biafra very close than ever before. And then I look into Africa, begin to ask myself, what is happening in this Africa? And the Lord opened my eyes. The Lord said, Africa should quickly wake up because God wants to relocate to Africa. When I say relocating to Africa, God said, I want to use Africa to revive the world again. And by so doing, God say, when you come to Africa to use Africa, things people never believe can be possible will be coming out of Africa. And that means that people will be sleeping on their bed. As you are sleeping, you close your eyes, you are sleeping, God will come and teach you things that you don't know. God will teach you things. He said, this is what? Do this, do this, like this. And before you wake up, you see yourself doing things that people will wonder, how did it happen? And that is why God said, everybody should begin to live spiritually. Whatever you are doing, walk in the spirit and be spiritually minded. Because when you are spiritually minded, good things will happen in the name of Jesus. I see Imo State revisited. Imo State, I see Imo State revisited. And I don't know why God is visiting the state back. I see the Imo State election revisited. Revisited. In such a way that it becomes such a hit. And people begin to wonder, what, what is going on? Is, uh, is the whole thing going back again to election again? Or what is going to happen? But God said, there's going to be a revisit in Imo State. I see a president. I don't know where the president is from. Oh, I don't know who this president is oh, being arrested. I don't know who the person is. Quote me, I don't know. Eh? But a president arrested. Kaya Subrakatiya. Malakantoforo. Braskentekiso Makayasha. 
I begin to ask, what is the offense of arresting this man? What happened? I said, what happened? And the Lord said, leave the details. When it happened, I will give the details. May the Lord visit you. 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 And settle your case. This is coming a second time. Tell the government of the day and people in power to please stay away from church. Stay away from church. Fighting church. Standing on church. Talking about church. Defending, challenging church. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word is God. They should be careful with God. God is not a respecter of anybody. God is not a respecter of anybody. He doesn't respect who you are. Whether you are a prophet or God doesn't respect you. You are this, you are that. He doesn't respect you. God doesn't care who you are. All that God cares is that his will must be done. Because I see in the realm of the spirit, I see people dying in the office. And I begin to ask, what is killing these people? And God say, they are working against me. Let blessing be our portion. Let blessing be the portion of the government. Let favor be their portion. But if they leave their track and enter the track of God, I'm sorry. Do you know why I'm saying it this way? In the realm of the spirit, God took me. I see this uh, weekend I talk about now. Saying that he allowed the church to worship. Even the president of the country has never said such. Have you heard the president say such? No. Eh? I say, eh? How can a governor open mouth and say he allowed church? Do you want wild wind to blow? Why wind we blow? There is a God in heaven that don't look at your face or who you are. You may think you are bold or you can speak. Shut up your mouth. Don't talk against God. The church is not something you toil with. We are not in the church for money. We are in the church for his glory. Don't talk against the church of God. Jesus has people on earth. Please, if you love him, Tell him to clear away from anything, church. Clear away from church. Church is where souls are saved. Church is where people receive life. Church is where people's spirits are built by their maker. Not a place of club or a place of joke or a place of toilet. And therefore, no human being born of a woman should open mouth and say he allowed the church. You can't allow church. Who are you? For this reason, for this reason, Nebuchadnezzar was taken to the bush to know who God is because he wanted to challenge the most high. And Pharaoh said, who is that God that I may, uh, may, 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 I want to know that God that said I should let the people go. And God said, you want to know me? I will finish with you right in river, Red Sea. And the Bible says, God humbled Pharaoh. No human. So listen to me. God is a spirit. And the church is a spirit. And the church is God. And listen to me. The church is the body of Christ. And the body of Christ shall no man destroy a second time. May the Lord forgive him. I said, may the Lord forgive him. But let him in his life never ever open mouth against the church maybe he has been he's a, he's a Christian, you have been in a church where you come, maybe you operate like a club or you come and uh, you think everybody respects you Christ is not a respecter God is not a respecter of anybody respect yourself for respect is a respecter may the Lord bless his people let there be peace in the name of Jesus let the glory of God take over let the presence of God take over let the hand of the Lord come upon this nation 
and let the will of God be done in the name of Jesus Christ. Every blood sucking demon, the Lord arrest them all. Every blood sucking demon, the Lord arrest them all. The Lord arrest them all and give victory to his people. We pray that God will give them wisdom to do the right thing. People that are on the position, God should give them wisdom to do the right thing. The knowledge to do the right thing. To favor you. 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 Congratulations to businessmen. Businessmen, congratulations. Your business will receive life. This year, your business will receive life. You will see grace in your business. You will see grace in your business. The glory of God will be with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. The, the person that everybody least expected. I see somebody least expected. Sitting on the seat of government. Unbelievably. That's why we should pray. Because I see an arrangement in the realm of the spirit where somebody was smuggled and put on the seat and could take place. So people that are saying, oh, I want to be a president from Igbo land, this that, God say it's a trap. God said what? Trap. Huh? May you jump and pass every trap. Every trap I jump and pass. Every trap I jump and pass. Spiritually and physically I jump and pass. Every trap I jump and pass. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your finger. Early rain. I see early rain. You know what's called early rain? Rain, early, early one. Lift up your hand. Say, Father, Father this, early this early rain will favor me, will bless me, will turn things, and will cost me to testify. It will open up my business, to open up my ground, and it will bring favor. Jesus' name. Congratulations to anybody that is believing God for fruit of the womb. I see heaven giving you your baby. I see you carrying your baby. I see you carrying your baby. You are carrying your baby in the name of Jesus. You that is believing God for the fruit of the womb, congratulations. Your baby is given to you now. Oh my God. God is not done with United States of America. God is not done with President Donald J. Chukwemeka Trump. <laughs> ah, Donald J. Chukwemeka Trump. God is not done with him. <laughs> so we put him in prayers. And we put America in prayers. Let the will of God be done. In Jesus' name. Congratulations. Congratulations to people in civil servants. Civil servant, congratulations. You will be considered. And also people in the armed forces, the police, the military, I see compensation. I see them being considered. I see them being considered. And then I see that this year, 2021, is a year of spiritual and physical top-up. The top up is in the area of finance, area of business, area of uh, marriage, area of destiny, area of whatever it is you can do. I see a spiritual top up in the name of Jesus because I see you blossoming in your business. Because this year you are going to buy a car. I see you buying a car, dedicating your car in the house of God. <laughs> 